Now, these are the Sean Hip vibes I've been missing. Oh my god, look at this. This looks beautiful and horrifying. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. We're gonna do, okay, we're gonna do one of the gold medalists from the alternate dimensions contest. Ooh, I don't know this maker at all. Um, all right, let's do it. And by the way, again, for the mods, um, for anybody in chat, you are free to, um, you're free to put suggestions in the chat as long as you don't actually know the solution. Um, and again, I just, so mods, you don't have to ban people for coming up with ideas. Uh, I'm just not gonna look at chat unless I'm completely stopped. Okay, um, so it looks like to win, we need... Well, actually, I don't actually know this. Maybe we go through the key door. There's no clear condition. There's a nice disrespect spike in the corner. I like it. Um, oh, <laughs> I love the... <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the little thing right there. All right. Oh, now these are the Sean Hip vibes I've been missing. Oh my God. Look at this. This looks beautiful and horrifying. All right, um, I will note that there is there is this thing right here that I was sort of blocking. So just keep that in mind. There's gonna be something there. I assume the goal is to get into this key door, um, but I don't see a key, so I don't know about that. What else can we do here? Let's just, let's just move, because there's so much going on. Let's just explore what's close to us and start there. So it is a bit bigger than one screen, I notice. It does scroll a little bit there and there. Um, what is happening? Stuff's happening. Okay, we got... Well, there's a spring, I think, that came out of that launcher, or did the POW come out? Um, and... Let's see where the SNEC goes. Oh, SNEC free... Whoa! SNEC does several things. Okay, SNEC frees the launcher. Ah, this is just... <laughs> I... Th there's a special place in my heart for levels like this. <laughs> we gotta see what's in this. What's in this? What's in this? What? That doesn't help. Fine. I wasn't expecting that. Um, okay, so there's a power we can't get. Maybe if the switch state were on. Oh, and then the power would... I just realized if the switch state were changed and a P switch were activated, the power would drop down here. What's this conveyor for? Oh, here's this... This is going to hit the switch. Oh, it's not going to hit the switch. Wait, but it will hit the switch. Okay, okay, this will hit the switch. Oh God, what, what does that do? So I can't go back to the right side of the map when the switch is hit. The pal is not here anymore. It despawned. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, strap yourselves in everyone. This is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> okay, we can hit this. We can hit this one as well. It doesn't appear. <laughs> it doesn't appear to do anything right now. Oh, it would drop the POW though. I could have dropped the POW with it. Um, all right, I think we have to go in the door and reset. It looks like we're at a, we're stumped here. <laughs> you guys haven't seen the freaking the Desearing Egg video. <laughs> we might, we might watch that later. What if I go, I have an idea. What if I go here, is the POW still spawned? Oh, the POW spawns the other direction, I think? Or no, does it always spawn that direction? Okay. Either way, we could drop the POW. This could be good. This feels like it could be the first step. Okay, wait. Now let's go back over there. Is the POW despawned? It's not despawned because it's on global ground, I think. So basically, when um, any object, including a POWs, are on certain platforms and other things too, like like this SNCC block. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, that's why it didn't despawn this time. Um, it's called global ground and things on them won't despawn. So I actually want to leave that on the global ground. If I were to hit this right now, it would go onto the P block, which I think is not global ground. So now I think, let's test this. That means I can go all the way over here, all the way back. Yeah, and the POW stays there. Okay, so let's do that. And then the P switch gets activated. Now this will drop. And I can hit the POW. I can hit the POW. What does that do for me? <laughs> oh shit! Did I just despawn the freaking POW? Okay, good. I didn't despawn the POW. Whoa, this is complicated. I don't know what the, what does the POW do for us? I mean, it. so the POW, let me get, POW would let us in this door up here eventually, but how do we even get there? Look, we can't get through right here or right here. We have to go around to the right and then up and over 
presumably up here. Or can we also go through here? No, there's no way in. We can't get in there unless we blow this block up and come in here. I think we're gonna have to come from the right side eventually, which is crazy. Um, all right, so what does this do? It will eventually let us in there. Does it do anything else? Is there something else we can blow up with the POW potentially? Um, maybe it would release that bomb. I don't think so though. I think we're too far away. I kind of want to try that. Oh yeah, there is the P-door. We could try going in the P-door. That's a good point. Maybe the P-door is useful. All right, let's just see what happens when we hit this. Oh, it, it also destroyed a shell mint. And it also failed to destroy the bomb here. Is this... Oh, we get a new... Wait! Whoa, hold on. What's happening? A new... I see. Uh, the red blaster launched the new shell. The shell knocked down that P-switch. Um, I want to go over there before time runs out. I'm assuming I can't do anything else with this launcher, but we're just kind of messing with it. Okay, okay, okay. So, with the switch state in this state, we can go here and hitting this will maybe activate a second P-switch? Oh! It shot out another muncher. Can this activate it? It can. Maybe this is good. Let's go in this P door and see what it, what happens. Ooh, CP1. Good, good, good. Okay, this is a good start. Let's go in the key door. Yeah, very good timing on the CP. Um, what's in the key door here? Is this? Oh, it's the same room, but now the scroll. It's the same. Oh! Um, but I can't scroll the screen now. So the POW is still over there, and I probably need to know what it... I'm thinking that... I see, I see. If I were to do the same set of steps, re-get the POW right here... And then, and then hit the POW from below if I jump. Then this guy's on screen, I'm noticing. Um, this guy is on screen. And I think that hitting the POW would make the bomb walk down here. And then if I hit down an off switch, it would blow him up, blow up that block, and then I could go over there maybe. So that's sort of my, where I'm thinking right now. I like this checkpoint. This is a cool checkpoint. This P-switch door is the next checkpoint, I'm realizing. So that's what we should focus on getting to next, I think. Okay. So, look at that. Oh, there goes the POW. There goes the POW. There goes the POW. And we can go here. So, if I hit this, I believe the POW is now on the snake block off screen to the left. If I'm not mistaken. I bet you it's not going to work right for some reason. I don't know. Let's try. Now we have to... We can't even hit the P-switch. How do we hit the P-switch? Do I hit in the other room and then come here? No, it doesn't make sense. Oh no, I don't know what to do at all. <laughs> How do I hit the P-switch? Well, we can, let's, let's see what the snake does. But the POW is not going to be in the right place now. Yeah, this isn't going to do anything for us, is it? Now the POW is sitting down there, but none of this helps. None of this helps. We can't do anything. Shoot. All right, this doesn't... <gasps> do you see what I'm seeing? Look at the right side of the screen. Oh my God, wait. No, this is doable. I just got it. Look at this. I don't understand when this happened, but look at you. We're so close. We just have to hit this P switch. Oh my God, I can do it. And I've already ruined it. I just killed it. No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Reset, reset, reset. Okay. Okay, okay, um, wait, so what were the steps again? Okay, okay, the, the POW just got kicked over. There's an off-screen POW to the left that just got kicked. That off-screen POW is now going to drop onto global ground, onto the snake block, basically, so it won't despawn. I don't think that matters because the scroll screen is locked right now. What I need to do is activate the P-switch now, though. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's how I, I see how I activate the P-switch. I totally see how I activate the P-switch. There, that'll activate it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. I'm gonna go in this. <laughs> okay, but I think, I think I wanted to let it, the P-switch actually run out. What's up? Okay, let me, let me go back and see the level again. You could try to look at the, you could try to look at the key door and figure it out from that, I think is why I wanted to do that prediction, but I'm not exactly sure. What even is the goal here? I think the goal, but I'm not 100%. <laughs>
I think the goal is to get into this door. Now we drop it down. There we go. Muncher. I just I just realized the muncher just came out on the right side. Now as soon as it jumps, then we hit that. That hits that. Now we're gonna. Where does- I need to go back and look at the other room. Will this give me the POW or is the P-Switch blocking it? This doesn't give me the POW. Um... Okay, I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do, but just to check, let's remind ourselves what it looks like. What we're trying to do over there. Uh, so this is- now you can sort of see what was happening. So what happens is the POW get flung over there. Hit the on and off switch. Right, we, oh, I see. We activated the P-switch, but we were unable to activate the snake block. But I think we don't have to. I think it's close enough on the screen with the way the screen goes. Cause look, the POW doesn't despawn. See, the POW still spawned. Well, okay, wait, that doesn't count because it's on the snake, but the POW didn't despawn. Okay, first step, POW needs to get launched over there. POW is now launched over there. Now, second step, Maybe this doesn't even need to be the second step anymore. I'm not sure. Let's just hit this. Whatever. Okay. I don't know if that if I need to do that or not. I probably didn't. Now, I think if I hit this, the POW will drop. So right now, the POW has now dropped. And as soon as I activate the P-switch, I believe the POW will come. No! Wait. Then activate this. Now the muncher will go on top of that. And then once it goes off of that, then I activate the switch again. There we go. Now I can activate the switch back. I don't want to go in the door, I don't think. I think the POW will come. Yes! POW comes! All right, all right, all right. Now we have POW. So now, um, I actually think I want to destroy that other muncher. Because it's kind Oh, no, maybe I need it to blow up the bomb, actually. Hold on a second. Oh, no, 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 I don't. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I want it. Okay, okay, okay. So when that muncher jumps on the right side, I'm gonna activate the POW. The bomb, I think, is gonna walk and then get crushed. Yes, and now I can go into that area on the right side. This is good, this is good. Um, now I might wanna destroy this muncher now. Let's just kill it, because I can spawn another one if I really need to, I think. Um, okay, I don't know what this does for us. I might need to go look at the other area. We can lower this and get a helmet, actually, maybe. Oh, if I could kill that. Oh, it's gonna bounce. I see. When I lower this, is it going to trap me? It's one, two, three tiles high. No, it shouldn't trap me. Maybe I can get a helmet from this if I can somehow get rid of that other one. Is there anything else I can do right now? I can hit the on and off switch. I don't know which switch state I want. That's one complicating issue right now, but the muncher would come out if I change the switch state. So let's just do this. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I can actually go, I can literally just go up here and get this helmet. I can also get a P-switch. Holy moly, we're getting things done. Um, Now if the switch state were not the same, would I win? Oh, I can't change the switch state. <laughs> I was like, I'll just change the switch state and win. I literally can't change the switch state. Um, how do you change the switch state? I feel like, okay, wait, I feel like this is gonna, I think the play here is to go back into the other area, but I almost wonder if like yeeting the switch into there or some, or maybe even hitting it or something would, would accomplish something for me, but I don't know what it would accomplish. So we're not gonna just do it haphazardly. Let's go back to the other room. All right, what else can we do with this spike helmet? That's the other question. I bet we can do a lot with it. Let's see what we can do in here. We can literally grab the POW. So if I do the same thing, I could literally just get the POW by destroying that. Wait, can I destroy these? Oh, it doesn't actually do anything. Wait. Oh my God, I'm just realizing how much stuff I can do. Okay, those are all possibilities. Let's keep thinking of other ones too. I can't hit anything else with the helmet here. Okay, so on this right side area, oh my God, I totally see what's gonna happen. I get it, I get the plan. I get the freaking plan. I don't know how to execute it, but I get the broad strokes of the plan. So over here, we need a way to basically, re all I needed to win last time was to activate a switch. And if you think about it, there's a burner right here and a bomb right here. Combine the two, 
I don't know how. Hey, yes, while the P-switch is active. While the P-switch is active, I break the POW. The bomb instead walks here, walks off, burns right here, just hits the P hits the on and off switch. Then I could go across the top in the previous area. So I use this P-switch to go back to where I was before. I love how that room lets you sort of make your plan and then you can sort of execute the plan in this room. So now that I have the helmet on, I'm not sure what's gonna be different and I'm not sure why I need to get the POW. So none of that makes sense to me. So hopefully that will make sense eventually. <laughs> um, but for now, uh, let's reacquire... Is that doing something? Let's reacquire... Oh my god, can I get up right there? I could go... Is that a soft lock? Oh no, I could go down there. Wait, do I want that? Look, I could go up here. That feels like that could be useful, but um, let's hold off on it. So for now, um, we're gonna respawn the muncher. And then I'm gonna, I'm hitting the P-switch. Either way, we need to get the POW. So the plan right now is to get another POW. So now we get the POW. Um, I think, I don't understand this. So, um, when the, when the muncher goes down, I'm gonna activate the P-switch. When the muncher is down here, I'm gonna activate the P-switch, trapping it. Then I'm going to hit the POW. The POW is going to release this bomb. The bomb is going to walk over here, walk down the off screen there, hit the hit this burner, it's going to light it. And then it's going to flip the switch state. Oh, but I also need to blow shit. But I also need to blow this one. Oh no, I see the problem. <laughs> oh man, there aren't two bombs. Is there another bomb? Oh no. I thought I had something, but I need- No, I need the bomb twice! This question block is in the way! This question block is in the way! Okay, this is gonna be more complicated. What does the block- Oh, does the block respawn is also an important question. I assume it does, though. Uh, okay, we're gonna blow that up. We're gonna blow that up. And... We're gonna quickly reset and see, I assume. Look at that, the block just comes back. Damn it. Yeah, I wonder if you can go from the left. I was thinking that too. It's not an impossible idea to... See how the spring blocks you though? Maybe the solution is to go in from this way and not from the other way. Yeah, yeah, maybe the solution is to go in from this way, but how would I... I just need a way to stop the spring from eating my butt. Maybe, like, something weird, like, spawning in from a different area? Let's look at the spring. The spring is maybe the key here. If the... I think I get it. I think I get it. Watch this. If so I'm about to run out of time. If the P-switch is activated, then I can activate this. Look at that. Look at that. And then... I can come here if the on and off switch if the on and off switch were to go in that state right there if it were to flip I had a brief moment where I could go through right there that might be it hmm all right we're puzzling so first step we need to acquire the helmet again uh, who remembers how to do that <laughs> the original strategy is to go through the left side right here so let's think about how we can possibly make that happen um, we are going to want to activate the on and off switch. So to activate the on and off switch, we're gonna need a P-switch active. Here's here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna need a P-switch active. Um, when we trigger the POW. So we still need to get the POW down here. Then we're going to have to activate a P-switch. Bomb is gonna walk over here, walk off the edge, light on the burner and blow up. It's impossible that while that's happening, Hopefully that happens before the P-switch timer runs out. That seems a little bit sketchy though. We're gonna have to maybe be fast by it. We're gonna activate the snake block. Oh, we have to have already activated the snake block for this plan. Okay, I think this plan is no good. Oh, can we? I have an idea. I was just thinking, okay, if you look, if you look right here, 
there is a P switch block that prevents the spring from firing. I think. Let's look at the first moments in this room. The very first moments what happens. I think that's gonna be key. Pal goes to the left. Pal goes that way. Oh, if we just... Hold on. You go over here, then spring goes. Okay, I think we do activate the P-switch immediately. It's confusing though, because if you look, there are P-switch blocks surrounding me right here. But that's okay. I can still come right here and activate this P-switch. I think this might be the play. And then immediately activate the snake block. Does it give me the pow? Does this give me the pow? And now, now it gives me the pow and there is no, oh, this is totally it. It gives me the pow and there is no spring at all. So now all we have to do is cause, shoot, it's not gonna work. This... No, is it gonna work? No, cause now we don't have a P-switch anymore. Hold on, why don't we have a P-switch anymore? We don't have a P-switch anymore because I was holding it. I need the other room's P-switch. I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, what if I threw the bomb? Wait, maybe I could have won. Shoot, what if I, what if I, what if I hit the P-switch, hit the snake, rushed up here and threw the pal while the P-switch was still active? Would that have worked? I think we have to try that. Can't you activate the P-switch using the muncher? Oh, let's try that. That's a good plan. Right, we have this P-switch. We have this P-switch. This puzzle is strange. I want to know when we're done with this, if there are multiple solutions, because I feel like I see three possible paths right now. Maybe, maybe some of them don't work for some reason. But yeah, you're right. This should theoretically work. Uh... And now, wait, wait, I have to think of, oh God, I don't have time to think about this. Okay, I think I did it. I think I just did it. I think it's gonna go. Yes! There, there, had, there had to have been another solution. There had to have been another solution, right? Was that the intended solutions? There are multiple solutions you can clear from either the main or the subworld. Cause I was gonna go get like the other P switch, but then that was definitely necessary. But then what about the idea of, what about the idea of getting pushed by the pow? Is that a solution or is that just, is that just like a kind of a red herring or something? Is that even a thing that exists? I want it, how far away is this? It is only one block. Would it not be the case that if you were behind a pow, a pow would come up to like right here on the conveyor it would push, oh, you need like a P-switch and a pow. I was expecting to get pushed all the way down here. Oh, this is totally not useful anyway, because, um, because this, even if I hit this P-switch, it would trap me here, I just realized. So that was a, that was a no-go. Okay, I liked my weird getting pushed along the bottom idea, but I think it was nothing. That was really clever how this same contraption on the left side got used three different ways. I like that. Huh. Overall though, it was just, uh, yeah, I don't know. A lot of like visualizing and stuff. It was, it was tricky. Let's do it. Let's do it. Reach the goal after grabbing at least one coin. Boop, boop, boop. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Um, uh, proximity puzzle. So it's something about getting close to something. Um, hmm. Um, all right, so to get the ax, we need a coin. I don't even see a coin, so that's, Always a good start. Um, there's a pal that will drop here. Maybe if we activate the P-switch, maybe it will just drop. I don't know if this one will change or not. Probably though. I don't even understand the point of this because I think that semi-solid goes all the way across. We'll come back to that. How would I, okay, so I get to the ax by going through the P-switch door. This puzzle looks very simple. I'm actually really excited by this puzzle because that's it, there's nothing. I think that one of these will turn into a coin and I collect it. Yeah, okay. What? Wait, why don't I just... <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, it's a troll level, let's go. How do I get you? Just get. 
Well, okay, I can also get- Wait, why can't I just drop- Wait! Wait, can't I just drop the- Can't I just use the POW? If I use the POW, won't this coin just fall to me? Oh, but that doesn't matter, does it? That doesn't matter. <laughs> because... I can't get through. Okay, okay. If let me let me check something. If I had not thrown the pow and not dropped the coins. Okay, watch this. So the launcher spawns because the block has now turned into a coin, and when it's a coin, it's not able to block it, but then it comes back and destroys it. So that's what I need to happen. That's what I need to happen at the end. But I need to also collect a coin. But how do I collect a coin? If I... Throw the pow, it drops both coins and they're gone forever. Unless... No, I don't really have another idea. <laughs> does it do something different if it's spinning? If it's spinning, does it still turn into a coin? It does, it just turns right into a coin. What if there's a weird way where... I have a weird idea. I have a weird idea. What if that actually matters? What if, even though... My idea can't possibly work either, but let's try it. My crazy idea is, what if while this is spinning, it actually behaves differently and won't fall? It still falls. Okay, that was my crazy idea. I don't understand the second P block. I don't understand the second P block either. What's the purpose of that second P block? Here's my weird plan. What if we eat that? Okay, if we eat that all the way over there, that doesn't help us. I was thinking like maybe, it's called proximity. I wonder if the name is a clue to some extent. I have an idea. It is with, it is with great regret that I inform you that I have gotten another idea. Okay, I have two good, I have, I have one bad idea, there's my bad idea, and then I have a good idea. Here's, here's the good idea. It's not very good. What happens if I immediately go through the door? Huh, did you see that though? The coins, I threw the pow and it dropped the coins, but the coins are still there. This is like, kind of like that ancient Sean hip tech. But I don't understand how that's gonna help me. If I could get another P switch maybe, or maybe, what if I could collect it from above? Now they're gone forever, right? Now they're gone forever. Does the right coin drop if the launcher is in the way? That's what I was thinking too. Maybe if you sort of, but it can't be in the way. Can it? Wait. Does that make it work? No, we're fucked. Right? Okay, we're bound. Um, that doesn't work. That did! It did work! That did work! But we're dead. This is, this is like tantalizingly like the old Sean Hip Pow Wave technology. So the old Pow Wave technology is like, when a pow goes off, can you see it in this game? Yeah, you see the wave emanate. So it's like possible to go through the door when the pow has lowered one of the coins, but not the other. And so you, it's possible to hit one and not the other coin which is why you think it's called proximity puzzle. The problem is that that doesn't help.
because I can't get close enough to the left. Yeah, if I go through the door, it would despawn anyway. Like, it doesn't help us. I need some way to just not... Oh! I get it! 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 Oh my god, I get it. Okay, okay, here's how we- here's the solution to the puzzle. Holy shit. Alright, I get it now. It finally made sense to me. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the POW before hitting the P-switch right here. The POW wave is then going to emanate from Toadette. And any time between when the POW wave is past this coin, but not yet at this coin, then I hit the P-switch. Because right now, this is- this coin is protected from the POW wave. So if I throw the POW, the POW wave travels past this one, then I hit the P-switch before the POW wave hits this one, this one will fall, this one will turn into a coin and fall, but the POW wave is already past that one, so it won't hit that one. So we do it like that, and then that. There we go, see it only drops the left one. Can I get it in time? Yeah, I can get it in time. Let's go! That was really cool. That was really cool. Let it be known that Sean Hip or somebody invented that shit in Mario Maker 1 like seven years ago. And that was that was a really cool application of it, but that was the same tech. I have a YouTube video showing off that tech literally from like seven years ago. <laughs> okay, um, let's go. Mole pow's mole problem. By Krakowski. Let's do it. Wow. Um Krakowski does make some sick levels. Don't mind my cat. Thank you so much for the 45 months. Really appreciate it. Okay, um... <laughs> I was like, why don't I just win? Hey, this might be useful. Okay, let's look at this again. Let's look at this exactly. Okay, so this looks like the detection box. I see. For the moles. Brian revenge level. Much, much appreciated, everybody. All right, let's do it. Let's get our, let's get our puzzling going. All right, here we go. Here we go. What in the... Okay, there's a... Oh! It even... It shows the, the boxes. Okay, is that gonna push the... <laughs> I'm suddenly reminded about how stupid this game is sometimes. That is pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. What happens if I... This is very silly. Um, okay, if I hit the switch, things might happen. Would that mole go all the way up there? Wait, oh my god, I'm, I have already, I'm not gonna spoil it. I don't know if this is it or not, but I'm already envisioning an amazing end to this puzzle. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm already envisioning an amazing end though. All right, um, so what's the goal here? I guess let's just explore and see what else we can do. I can push this, I can put this here and go in this door. Um, and this just appears to be a reset door, which might be useful. We can also hit this on and off switch. Okay, wait, so here's my idea for how to get back in there. <laughs> if I had two pals. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. If I had two pals, I could literally do this. Wow. I love that. Um, if I cut this off, will the mole still spin? Okay, so the the twister is totally unaffected by like stuff being in the way. That makes sense. Um, if I go in here, I think I need another pow because I need to look. I think I need to go in there and then trigger a pow. But we'll of course test that. I can't get past this guy. Um, oh. I wonder if I had hit the switch first, if I could somehow have done something different right here. Well, there's not much else to do. Let's uh, reset the room real quick. And then let's see if there's anything we can do now that we're holding this pow. Oh, something happened up there. Spike ball. Um, okay, where does this guy spawn? He spawns all the way over there. There's certainly not much I can do about that. What if I, if I put the pow on the conveyor, would that be useful? Oh, I get what to do. I, I think I get the first step. I get the first step. Watch this, watch this. What if we put this, we put this pow through here, then we hit the on and off switch, and then we trigger the mole. Look at that, the mole gets stuck. And then we can use that 
to get this pow, which is totally not helpful for us right now. Because... <laughs> uh, we can't escape. I don't think I did that quite right. But... Wait, can I... Oh! I can't escape. Okay, okay, okay. This is good, this is good. Shut up, Defender! All right, um... So now we have two pals. All right, so now what do we do with our newfound pal? So I think what we do is we go back here. This is everything everywhere all at once. Where's my everything bagel? Um, now we go here, we can get this other pal. And I think this is good because this allows us to get the third pal. So I think I go in here, then I do that, then I get the third pal. How are we gonna use all of these pals? Um, actually, I'm starting to starting to understand how we're gonna use all these pals. Look at this. I can get all of them. I get it. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. We can just literally jump up here now. Get rid of that guy. Get the third one. And now, now we can hit the switch again. Oh, this is a cute little puzzle. I think this is it. We can make the stack. Let's make sure to get this one next. Love this. Now we can get through here. Yes! I think this is it. Oh, that was a really cute puzzle. Okay. And then it's like Kaizo block with another mole. If this were Sean Hip, there would have been a Kaizo with another mole right there. <laughs> mole friend helped us out. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that. GG. You missed cannon secret? Wait, oh no, what was cannon secret? Is there a secret if you put the POW under the red launcher? Oh, I did. It probably, oh man, it probably gives you, um... Can we be evil chat? Okay, is it a one-up? Hey, it's a one-up. <laughs> this is a one-up. True ending. Let's go. Enigma. Magma. Hatch the Yoshi egg before it becomes delicious breakfast. Oh no, we're cooking Yoshi eggs. We're cooking Yoshi eggs, no. That's not a Yoshi, that's a one up. What? 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 <laughs> what the heck? Um, okay, I'm looking by the way at the beginning area and just uh, I don't think I could have gone up there, but I'm noting that there was something up there. We might come investigate that. Look at this, it like, look at this. It, for a brief moment, behaves as if it's in the lava. Um, oh, look at this. I can't fit through this, but this sort of does. That has to be the first step. Okay, we have smuggled the POW over here. Can I smuggle the POW here? It really doesn't look like it. What if I like, what if I can throw the POW and it doesn't, oh my God, wait. Oh, that almost looked like a thing. Hold on, is this Yashi? Ah! <laughs> Murderer! What? No. Hmm. I have ideas. I know what to do. I know what to do. I already know what to do. This is really cool. All right. I do want to test one thing real quick. <laughs> My plan. My plan worked. Okay, I got to end this prediction. Now you guys can see. Now you guys can sort of see. Um, end submissions. All right, here is the plan. You ready for this? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, that was my idea. What do we do now? <laughs> I can get this. Is that actually useful, by the way? I just realized I can get this. Well, hopefully we didn't need it. <laughs> uh, let's put this here. Get off Yoshi. Kick this. Oh, I can just, wait, I have to, wait, <laughs> wait, how do I get Yoshi? How can we smuggle the Yosh across though? Well, that didn't work like I wanted it to. 
How do I escape with the Yosh? I saved it, but... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> um... That's actually cool that that doesn't... That's actually really cool that that doesn't... Oh, we have fucked this up. Uh, it's still the same. He's still alive, yeah. I think I need to bring the pal here. Wait. Oh. What in the world? How would I get here? I need the other Yoshi. If I bring the other Yoshi here, then I could survive that? But how would I ever bring the other Yoshi through this? Oh, if there's a w there needs to be a mechanism of like yeeting the Yoshis through these or something. Well, this is a really cool and unique puzzle. I actually really like this puzzle so far. All right, I have ideas. Let me, I have three ideas. Let me try them. So idea number one is can I put this in the claw? Because that claw could technically help me get up. Or can... Okay, that doesn't work. Idea number two. This still isn't enough to get up, is it? It's not quite enough. Um, idea number three. Yeah, yeet! Oh. Here, let's practice yeeting Yoshi. I'm gonna practice our Yoshi yeet. Uh. Da, 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 da. Now, there's no, like, good way to yeet Yoshi that I know. What, the, what is the purpose of these... Of these... Oh, I, I'm so stupid. How didn't I see this already? I just get hit with him. We just get hit with the ash. Oh, I think I might want the... Oh, wait. Okay. I think I want to maybe trap the Yoshi with by eating this. Here's what we're going to do. Something like this. Oh, this is really cool. This is such a cool idea. This is such a good idea. Oh, this is such a good idea. I love this level so far. This is really interesting. Um, by the way, I'm noticing the axe is right there. Are we even going to get rid Yoshi? Can I just win right now? Okay, we have to do true ending because I feel like there must be a true ending. Oh, that! look at the contraption, by the way. You can see how you were able to stand on the lava with all of those cannons like that. That's really interesting. I have a question. Was that, yeah, was that cheese? Because what happened to Red Yoshi? Red Yoshi is true ending. Oh, okay, okay. So we just got, we didn't get true ending. Let's try to get true ending. That was really cool. I like that a lot, but let's see how true ending goes. Go here. We get it. Go here. Why do you need to block it from running too far? Would it despawn or no? I assume it would just run like all the way back and all the way over and despawn or something, but I guess I don't really know. I always wondered if there was some way to get up there. It feels like there's something going on here. How deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember Mario Maker where you can just kill shit with that? Alright, I think we have to destroy the power here to get through there. And then this is tricky because. Have we messed up? I think we might have messed up. Is there a way to make Yoshi run? I think I needed to make Yoshi run first. That's what I needed to do. Oh, it's, it's, it's the claw lick glitch. It's the claw lick glitch. Okay, I think we want to do it like this. Wait, I meant to... Ah! This time with less dumb. What? <laughs> Don't clip that. Get out of here. No, don't do it. Don't do it. 
Don't do it. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, oh. Put this here. Do that. Okay. And I want to let the Yoshi run. Okay. The Yoshi just... Oh, there's a one way right there. I see. I see. Nice. Acquire the Yash. Acquire the better Yash. Can I get the other one, though? Is there a way for me to get you? I don't think there is. Why would I want that? Maybe there's something down here. Oh, it's a, it's a platform. Puncher's platform. And then I wonder what comes out of here. Oh, I go that way? Huh. Do I have to? Can I keep the Yash? No, I don't think so. Maybe I'll come back. I don't know, let's see what's in here. Pipe secret. What is that a picture of? Oh. <laughs> this is the true ending. Ah! Can I move this muncher or something? Wait. What if? What if? Somehow the running Yoshi saves its brethren. They're almost synced up. They're almost synced up. Ah, How cool would that be? Why can't I hit them, by the way? Should I not be able to hit them? Maybe only you can hit it when it lands? What else can I do? Maybe something will be different if I go back. Did a switch get hit? Oh, did a switch get hit? Maybe a switch got hit. Maybe we're good still. No, switch is not hit anymore. But, all right, I have a new plan. Let's try this new plan. New plan. Why did I die? Why did I die? No cannons there, so I went in the lava. Can I... I could jump over that spot. I just saw that there was stuff up here. And so my thought process was, what if I go over there? I can go back here. Maybe I need to smuggle Red Yoshi back. Maybe that's what I need to do. But how? Oh, get hit back there? Have I already fucked myself? Was I supposed to get hit right there? I think I was. Um, shoot. <laughs> okay, get hit here. Wait, oh yeah, 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 I can just walk through here. Okay, now we've smuggled a red Yoshi. We have now smuggled the red Yosh. What does red Yoshi do for us? Is true ending to just win on Luca? Is true? Oh, am I missing something? Is true ending to just win with Red Yoshi, or is there more to do still? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was expecting this grand mystery because of the beginning. It looked like if you break the blocks, you could get back into the beginning area. Okay, okay, okay. I was expecting something. <laughs> I was expecting something crazy. All right, cool, 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 cool. You have a Google Translate. I will proceed to type the characters eh and g. <laughs> they translate to return. I shall copy them and paste them twice. It changes to regret. Once more, eco production. Once more, Eiffel Tower. And once more, the suing egg. Once more is a delicious, delicious breakfast. Delicious breakfast. And once more is the suing egg. And once more is delicious breakfast, early evening soup. And once more is the seeming egg! And once more is delicious and the first priority will win! <laughs> and once more is the seeming egg! <laughs> and once more is transportation eastern maple egg bag! Once more <laughs> is the sear clear down egg! And once more <laughs> is delicious and the first priority will win! <laughs> and once more is the seeming egg! egg, 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 egg. 
And once more is the luckiness of deep sea squeeze trees. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Uh, it's like Google this, Translate. Egg, preparation, preparation of egg. Delicious what does the steering mean? Is, is that even a word? Social egg. Holy crap. Steering egg. Deep sea egg. Egg tag. Delicious and the best for egg. I forgot that was so Oh my goodness, I'm losing it. Egg tag. The steering egg preparation. <laughs> preparation of egg. What does the steering mean? It's not a word. Eastern Airlines transportation, education, transportation, education, transportation, education, transportation, education. <laughs> Dynasty Eastern Airlines, Eastern, Eastern, Antarctica, Eastern, Antarctica, Antarctica, Antarctica. Eastern oh. Airlines. Tra- okay, I, I, th- I think, I think the funny part has ended. I think the funny part. Nope. Nope. How the frick do you get?